Hello everyone. As a part of our course curriculum, we have done a project web-based hospital management system for the subject database management systems. So, here we present the overview of our project. Coming to the topic database management systems. A DBMS is a computer software application that interacts with the user, other applications and the database itself to capture and analyze data. A general purpose DBMS is designed to allow the definition, creation, querying, update and administration of databases. Some well-known DBMSs include MySQL and Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, etc. So, the main, uh, the, the main applications of DBMS include the banking sector, airlines, universities, hospitals and manufacturing and selling. Uses of DBMS Data that is well organized and integrated is very useful in decision making. Thus, we can infer some of the following uses of DBMS. It, it is effective and efficient management of data, query processing and management, easy to understand and user friendly, security and integrity of data, better decision making, data sharing and storage, better access to accurate data and it ensures error free information. Our application is a web-based application. It is designed to provide ease of use to the doctors and the department of the hospital. This is not accessible to the patients and the staff members as the patient details are highly confidential and cannot be accessed by everyone. This software handles all the main features for the important and the typical case of patients that are admitted to the hospital. In order to provide security to the system, only administration, administrator can add new values, delete existing values, or grant access to other users of the database of the department, patient, treatment, test, bill, guardian, and doctors. Administrator is assigned with a unique username from the other users of the software and also one-time password that is provided to his phone or email. To maintain a stable database which provides high level of security, a data, product, a data protection, Oracle Express Edition 11G is used for storing information that is entered in the graphical user interface and also access is given only to the administrator, head of the departments and the doctors. The admin has all rights on all the data sets. This management system has the following sections, doctor, treatment, test, guardian, Patients, Departments, Bill, Administrator. This is our Entity Relationship Diagram. In this, we have six entities in which Guardian is a weak entity. Our project mainly concentrates on patient and doctor. In patient, name is a composite attribute because it consists of three attributes, first name, last name and middle name. Coming to the doctor, we have derived attribute age because it is derived from our date of birth. In doctor, we have the multi-valued attributes like phone number and email. It also comprises of entities, department, treatment and tests. And the relationships include the patient which who follow, follow up the treatment and the department has the doctor's patient, a patient belongs to the department and a doctor suggests the treatment and the patient is billed for the tests and the guardian takes care of the patient. The following is our database schema. For instance, take patient. A patient has a patient ID which is a primary key because it has only unique values and the department has the department ID which is a unique value so it is named as our primary key. There is a foreign key department number which is uh, the department ID in the department so any changes which are reflected to the department, num department number in the doctor are reflected to the changes in the department ID of the department. So this is how, how our home page looks like. All the hospital details which includes the address, timings, do, uh, contacts and the room details are included onto the left side. And the main entities department, doctor and administrator are up on the top. For the department, click on the department and we get a username and the password which includes the security conditions. After we log in, we can display the department details and the one who access the department can also 
can add a new doctor and also access to the doctor details and the treatment details regarding the department and he can add any new patient to the details by giving all the information about the patient. And even the patient details can be, uh, can be displayed through here. Coming to the doctor, even the doctor has a username and password and can log in through it. The doctor details and the treatment details which the doctor offers are given in the doctor department and can be displayed. Coming to the administrator, he has access upon everything. So, he can add a new department and also display the department details. He can add a new doctor and display the existing doctor details and add a patient and the patient details. And he can also look upon the new treatments and the treatment details through here. And the tests offered by the department can also be accessed through here. So this is how the Oracle ap Application Express 11G looks like. The queries can be written over here and the data can be retrieved over here. So let's retrieve the data, select star from department, which shows all the records re uh, that can be retrieved from the department table. So when the query is run, we have all the records of the department table over here. Now let us explain with the help of a complex query. And also, the query, the query report can be saved in the form of an Excel sheet, which is being shown here. Now, let's, uh, uh, let's run a complex query. The query we have written is to retrieve the doctor's name, the treatment given to a patient, which ends with the, with the letter A. So, we have written select p.f name where p is the instance for patient and p.l name which is the last name of the patient and the t treat which is the uh, t is the instance for treatment and d is the instance for department. Now we have equated the department number of p and the department number of d which are the foreign key and the doctor id in the doctor and the treat doctor id in the treatment which are the foreign keys. So, and we have the p.f name like percentile a which says that any string ending with a order by p.f name retrieves the order in an alphabetical order and we run the query. The following are the records which are ending with a. And can be retrieved in the form of an excel sheet. Now let us explain with an example of another query. The query we have written is for the counting the number of doctors in the hospital. The keyword we use is count of star which includes the count of every record in the doctor which retrieves the number for the number of records in the doctor table. Now we run the query and the records which are in the doctor table are 21. Also an explanation for the results we have obtained can also be retrieved over here. And similarly, we can save the result in the form of an Excel sheet. Since it's a count, it retrieves only the number of the records in the table and which can be displayed. 